work sets you free, says the notorious sign at the entrance to Auschwitz. In fact, from 1942 onward, 80% of those arriving here were not put to work at all. They went directly to their deaths. Deceit was always a key aspect of the Nazi strategy. The Germans went to great lengths to hide the truth. For example, they sold train tickets to Auschwitz to Jews from Greece. For the same reason, they sold non-existent houses and land in Poland. Visitors can see letters telling Jews what to pack and the things they brought, most of it confiscated immediately. They've got their names and surnames on, Mary Kafka, Clara Sara Fochtmann. In another room, there is a model showing how the exterminations were carried out and the actual Ziklon gas cylinders used. It's painful to look at, but people from all over the world clearly feel it's important. Last year, 2,300,000 people visited the memorial, a number that increases from year to year. The Nazis left much of the infrastructure intact, but they did try to destroy the most flagrant evidence of their crimes, the gas chambers and crematoria at Birkenau, the newer and larger part of the complex. On the left here were the furnaces. Using the latest technology for the time, they could burn up to 1,440 corpses per day. As living memory fades of the atrocities committed here and at all the Nazi camps, the Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial will continue to stand and to convey one clear message. Humanity must never forget and never let it happen again.